U.S. Institute of Urology, I believe, is a special place where truly world-class research is backed by truly world-class surgical expertise. The facilities available at the USC Institute of Urology, uh, all modern facilities, all cutting-edge facilities are available. From a technological aspect, uh, everything that a modern medical center would want, uh, we have. Across a broad spectrum of urologic disease and urologic cancer, we are able to deliver the appropriate treatment for the appropriate patient. One of the really exciting things at USC that we're doing um, is using fluorescent cystoscopy and blue light cystoscopy in the identification of bladder tumors when they're still in the superficial stage. With blue light cystoscopy, um, we instill a fluorescent agent into the bladder and using a blue light, which is a specific wavelength of light, we're actually able to see these tumors glow um, really red inside the bladder. And this is a new technology that we have here that's allowing us to detect more tumors, to, to complete better resections in patients, and hopefully to limit recurrence in patients who have um, bladder cancer. Uh, one of the recent innovations of our team is the robotic anatomical or zero ischemia partial nephrectomy, where we have developed the technique to be able to remove the tumor from a kidney without having to stop the blood supply to the kidney. Robotics as a general field has evolved and expanded over the past four years. Uh, the complexity of cases that we tackle today uh, are much more than uh, what was possible a few years ago. So we offer robotic surgery to uh, bladder cancer, prostate cancer, kidney cancer, many benign and reconstructive procedures. In other words, the entire field, which is um, uh, quite unique for a, for a department. From the research perspective, we are leaders in epigenetics research. Epigenetics is really the process by which uh, genes uh, in human cells are marked in such a way uh, that genes can be used in one cell but not in another. Every cell in your body has the same genes in it, but different uh, sets of genes are used in different tissues. So what we find in cancer is, is that genes that should be on have been turned off and we have drugs that can turn them back on again. The microscopic aberration of the prostate needle biopsy remains the gold standard of diagnosis of prostate cancer. So, evaluating the biopsy specimens with epigenetic marker will enhance the personalized risk characterization of prostate cancer. So the mission here at the Institute of Urology is to provide the absolute best patient care while minimizing complication rates for the patients. The ERAS protocol, or Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, is a post-operative pathway that we have developed here at USC for patients undergoing radical cystectomy with urinary diversion. The goal of the ERAS pathway is to get patients home sooner. Our first 50 patients have had a median hospital stay of four days compared to a historical hospital stay of eight days. So prosthetics in urology are designed to help quality of life. One of the things that we see in the urologic cancer field is a lot of patients almost tend to compromise their care because of their fear of quality of life issues. Obviously, try to help patients make the right choice, get the maximum therapy, get their cancer cured, and if they have side effects, that we can offer the types of things that can get back the quality of life. What what they're afraid of when they first walk in the door here. What makes this entire thing come together is our strong residency program. One of the things that makes this such a unique residency is the sheer volume of cases that the, that the resident will be exposed to. The other thing that makes us unique is it's, it's a family and, and the, the faculty have an open door policy to all the residents, making sure that they're getting what they need, making sure they're hitting their milestones, and making sure that they're well taken care of during their, their six years here. This place prepares them very well for uh, going on to another fellowship, be it here or someplace else, which then usually leads to some type of leadership. Uh, a position in the future for them. We have what I believe are world-class 
open surgeons and world-class robotic surgeons, minimally invasive surgeons, uh, to be able to provide the full complement of cutting-edge treatments and technologies uh, under one roof.